We're going to have a quick look at how to use clocks in repeat signage. So I'm going to start by a text-based clock. So I'm going to go to my menu, click on insert, and insert clock. And instantly it just drops um, a date and a time onto, onto the page for you. Now if I double click on this to open the properties, now what I might just want is just a time. So I can use this um, drop, um, drop down here to um, look at different options you can actually put dates as well as times on there and I'm just going to go for the time a.m. p.m. and click on OK now because it's text you've got obviously various options like uh, fonts and stuff so I can double click on here uh, go to the um, fonts tab let's make that a little bit bigger say 48 you can obviously choose a different font make it bold etc you've also got different colors so we can go to the colors tab and what I might want to do is to uh, choose different font color. At the moment it's black. And I'll click on the choose button, orange. OK, OK again. So that's changing my font color. I could even change the background color if I wanted to. Um, let's just do that. Or specify the, uh, a background picture if, if required. I'll click on that option. This time I'm going to choose a gradient color. Now a gradient color is where you have um, one color and it goes down to a second color so in this case we've got like um, uh, black, uh, black to white so it's giving like all this gray in the middle we're just going to select that so you can just see how that works and OK now let's just resize our control slot because we changed the font so that's just one example uh, if I double click again You've also got um, these options as well. So at the moment it's defaulted to my current system time, which is 11:10, um, but I can actually change the time zone to make it to a time in a different country if, what, if required. Um, let me just show you what this culture code's for. Um, if I go to dating words, at the moment it says the 8th of September 2014, and we're in English uh, and it's British English. Now you can change these culture codes and if you click on the um, F1 button it will give you some examples. So I could change that to say like um, US English instead. Um, but it's more useful if you want to display it in a different language. So if we put um, ES dash ES that, that's um, Spanish um, in Espana which is Spain but you can actually see that the, the dating word is changed to the Spanish spelling of September instead. Um, you can also do a custom date form, which we don't, won't particularly go into this time. And click on OK. Now, the second option for clocks is to actually use a flash clock instead. So we're just going to do that quickly. So click on Insert and Insert Flash Clock. And you've got 10 different styles. Now, so we'll just go through these quickly. So the classic clocks are all the circular ones, and I'm just going to go back to classic clock 2, which I quite like, and just click on OK to drop that onto screen. And just drag and drag to resize it. Now you can do things like specify the background colours again, so double click on there. You, for all the classic clocks, you've got two tabs. You've got the time zone, so you can set it to a different time zone if required, or the background colour. And all I'm going to do is choose a different colour again. Very quickly, let's go for purple. OK. So that's how to actually set a background colour. And then you've also got um, a different sort of um, flash clock. So I'm going to click insert flash clock again. And we've got digital ones as well. Now, when you, as soon as you click from a classic to a digital, you'll see there's actually four tabs, so you can actually control the font and the colours as well. In this case, I'm just going to click on OK to add it to the, to the screen. So that's one example of the digital clock. Double click it again. Let's just have a quick look at the other ones. Again, you can specify the, the, the four and the back colours as well. Click on OK. And that's quite a nice effect, the way that changes. So that's just a very quick overview how you actually add um, times and dates to repeat signage.